stakeholders from churches, civil society, business community, and others. The delegates are in turn expected to take this message to the grassroots. This Nakuru meeting is a third after similar meetings held in Nairobi and Laikipia. The party will hold other meetings in Meru, Kisi, Nyeri, Ebu in the coming days and thereafter move to the rest of the country. The party wish to urge Kenyans to support BBI documents since it is good for the future of this country. The ideas that promote unity in the country and was at the forefront of ushering in the current constitution in 2010. We today agree to put apart our difference, our political affiliates, to fight for us to benefit in BBI. From here on, we are going to forget about 2022. And as, as the president said, we are going to concentrate on BBI to educate our people. Therefore, today we have more than 100 TOT train of trainers who are moving from here to the county level, ward, location, until the village, to Nakuru County. We are going to, to forget the 2022 from today onward at the declaration by the delegates. We are going to support the president. We are going to support the BBI. And we are going to fight until the referendum. We call upon the county assembly members to now take charge and go by the declaration, go by the Mwananchi, the five constituencies, the 35%, the youth, the women with the Nakuru are going to support his excellence, the president, and his team. Tukaendelea tukaja nak, tukaja taka PNU, we were then recommending a system where you had a president and two vice presidents, prime minister and four deputy prime ministers, 23 cabinet ministers and 47 uh, deputy ministers, plus at least 63 then uh, women uh, representatives for each district at that time. That was in 1997. We have not wavered since then. So for us today, when there is the, if the president, President Huru Kenyatta and uh, uh, Prime Minister Raila Odinga have got together and they shook hands to enable us to have BBI, for us as PNU, it is a completion of what our manifesto has been. And I urge strongly, 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 because in 2010, when we were uh, uh, dealing with the 2010 constitution, some of us, including myself and the current deputy president, were in what was called no. And we were told by President uh, uh, Kibaki and Prime Minister Odinga that if 80% is okay, why not pass this constitution and you carry out rectification by die? Now, it shocks me and surprises me that those of us who had issues with 20% can stand up and run around the country saying, no, 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 don't change anything. I think it's a fulfillment, and I thank the President and Prime Minister for enabling BBI to enable us attend to the 20% which was not in the 2010 Constitution.